we have the first proper reveal of the new Apple iPhone 14 and I'll be sharing everything right after this. Today, we've got the full reveal of the new iPhone 14 Pro, along with more confirmation of the specs across the range. Before we get started though, like the video if you're a fan of Apple, let me know in the comments who out there is waiting for the iPhone 14, and if you haven't already, then hit subscribe now so you don't miss a thing in the future. So the first story of the day, before we get into the reveal, we've got a tweet from Ming-T Kuo on Twitter, and he says that only the Pro models are going to be getting the A16 chip. He says that the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Max are going to continue to use the A15 chipset, the one we've seen in this year's iPhones, and it's only going to be the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max that get the A16. Now to be honest, I just don't see this happening. If the iPhone 14 has the same design as its predecessor, and then also the same chipset, there's not much reason of an upgrade from any model when you could just get the iPhone 13 cheaper. It also seems a bit odd that we've started getting these tweets from Ming-Chi Kuo who never tweeted before and the tweets do seem a little bit different to his normal leaks so I'm wondering if it is even him behind the Twitter account. We also have a new post from It's Fat on Weibo and he says that the iPhone 14 is not going to be getting the camera upgrade that we've all been hearing about and instead it's going to continue to use the 12 megapixel Sony sensor. Now to be honest though, I've never even heard of It's Fat so take this with a grain of salt when reliable sources are telling us otherwise. Now next up, we've got more rumors of satellite communication feature coming to the iPhone 14 and this is from 9to5Mac. We've had these rumors in the past though for its predecessor and it never seems to materialize but according to their source Apple is still working on it and there's potential for it to appear in the iPhone 14. Now again I just don't think now is the time for it, Apple have plenty of other things to focus on and I just don't see it happening for the iPhone 14. Next up, we've got the first proper reveal of the iPhone 14 Pro thanks to leaked CAD files and it's thrown up a few surprises. Of course, on the front view it looks exactly the same as we're expecting, it's the same design as last year but Apple have removed the notch and they've instead included a pill shape and a punch hole cutout in the display. Now the hole is going to be used for the Face ID dot projector whereas the pill shape is going to be for the front selfie camera and the infrared camera. You can see we've also got the speaker grill embedded into the top bed the same as we had last year. On the rear, however, it is pretty much identical to the 13 series. Despite previous rumors, we do have a protruding camera bump and then the same buttons along the side, despite multiple rumors of round buttons this time round. Now, these CAD images are coming from reliable sources, so there's a good chance that they are correct. And if we take last year as an example, Apple didn't really change too much in terms of the design, so it could be that they're doing the same again this year and they're going to focus on refinements over a complete redesign. Now I'll update further once any more confirmations come in, but for those of you excited, we're now going to run through the full specs, design and the expected pricing for each iPhone 14 in the range. For my regular viewers, you guys have seen this so just skip to the next video, but if you're new here then hit subscribe now and we'll get right into it. To start with, the new entry level model is going to be the iPhone 14. With the iPhone 14, we get a 6.1 inch Super Retina OLED display. It's expected to be a 90Hz display with an 1170 by 2532 resolution and this gives us 460 pixels per inch. On the front, we'll be getting a 12 megapixel selfie camera, but unlike the Pro models, we will have a notch instead of a punch hole camera. On the rear, it's expected that they're going to stick with a dual camera setup, but it may be the first time we get a LiDAR scanner on the lower end models. The dual camera setup is going to consist of a wide angle and an ultra wide camera and the phone is going to be powered by the new A16 Bionic which is going to be a 4 nanometer chipset that's both more powerful and efficient than the A15. It's going to be coming with 6 gigabytes of RAM and a choice of 128, 256 or 512 storage. The phone is going to be powered by a 3240 milliamp hour battery with improved fast charging likely to be something like 25 watts. It's expected to support both wireless and reverse wireless charging and it's also expected to come with 5G, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2 and ultra wideband support. It will of course ship with the new iOS 16. When it comes to pricing, Apple have been keeping things relatively the same lately so we're expecting the base model to start from $799. 
Now next up, we've got the iPhone 14 Pro. With the iPhone 14 Pro, we get a 6.1 inch ProMotion OLED display. It's a 120 hz LTPO display with a resolution of 1170 by 2532, which gives us 440 pixels per inch. On the front, we get another 12 megapixel wide angle camera with Face ID sensors embedded in the display. On the rear, we get a triple camera setup consisting of a 48 megapixel wide angle as the primary, a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 12 megapixel telephoto, and of course, we get the additional LiDAR scanner. The phone is going to be powered up by the A16 Bionic and it's expected that it's going to come with a choice of 8 gigs of RAM, 128, 256, 512 and 1TB one of storage. The phone is going to be powered up by a 3240mAh battery with improved fast charging likely to be 25 watts. It's expected to support both wireless and reverse wireless charging and it's also expected to come with 5G, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2 and ultra wideband support. It's going to ship with iOS 16 and the base model of the iPhone 14 Pro is expected to launch from $999. Now next up we've got the new edition which is the iPhone 14 Max. The iPhone 14 Max is expected to come with a 6.7 inch Super Retina OLED display. It's expected to be a 90Hz display with a resolution of 1284 by 2778 On the front we get a 12 megapixel selfie camera and on this model we also have a notch. And then on the rear we get a 12 megapixel wide angle as the primary, a 12 megapixel ultra wide and the LiDAR scanner. The phone's going to be powered by the new A16 Bionic and it's it should be coming with 6 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128, 256 or 512 storage. The iPhone 14 Max is going to be powered by a 4,352mAh battery, again with fast charging likely to be 25 watts. It's expected to support both wireless and reverse wireless charging and it's also going to come with 5G, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2 and ultra wideband support. Of course, it's going to be shipping with iOS 16. When it comes to pricing, we expect the iPhone 14 Max to start from $899. Now finally, we've got the top-end model, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is coming with a 6.7-inch ProMotion OLED display. We're expecting a 120Hz LTPO display with a resolution of 1284 by 2778 giving us 458 pixels per inch. On the front, we get a 12-megapixel punch-hole selfie camera with Face ID under the display. And then on the rear, it's the triple camera setup and a LiDAR scanner. The triple camera consists of a 48-megapixel wide angle, a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 12 megapixel telephoto. The phone's going to be powered by the A16 Bionic and it's expected that it's going to come with a choice of 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128, 256, 512 or 1 terabyte storage. The phone's going to be powered by a 4,352 milliamp hour battery with improved fast charging likely to be 25 watts and again it's likely to support both wireless and reverse wireless charging. It's expected to come with 5G, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2 and ultra wideband support and it will of course ship with iOS 16. The base model of the iPhone 14 Pro Max is expected to launch from $1,099 and of course the higher storage options will cost more. So overall the iPhone 14 is looking incredible and it's great to finally see some drastic design changes. In terms of the hardware they've already got a good setup going so focusing on design is a good move. Of course the iPhone 14 series is going to be launching in September 22 and as more and more leaks come in I'll continue to share them as they do. As always though I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments so who out there is excited for the new iPhone 14 series and what do you think of this new design? But thanks for watching the video if you liked it smash a thumbs up if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.